Say there's a house with a basement. In this house, there's a sprinkler system and the water source is in the basement. Let's find out how the sprinkler works. We use Bernoulli's equation, an equation that allows us to see the relationship between pressure, velocity, and depth of two systems. In our case, the water tank within our sprinkler system and output of water of the sprinklers. In this problem, point 1 indicates the surface of the water within the tank, and point 2 indicates the tip of the sprinklers where the water comes out. To simplify the problem, assumptions are made. Setting point 1 as the starting point makes Z1 equal to 0 meters. Since we are using gauge pressure, any point that is exposed to the atmospheric pressure is equal to 0, such as point 2. The H with the subscript L stands for head loss, which is the energy loss while fluids travel through pipes. Major head loss is energy loss due to friction between traveling fluid and the wall. The length of the pipe also affects the major head loss. Minor head loss depends on the geometry of the pipe. K is smaller if turns are smoother. So far we have made assumptions to simplify Bernoulli's equations and substituted in the equation for major and minor head loss. Now what if we don't have no any information about the water velocity exiting the sprinklers? We use the mass conservation law to find out the relationship between input and output velocity. The law states the amount of water going in is equal to the amount of water coming out. Flow rate is equal to the area times the velocity of the fluid. The sprinkler has n number of outlets, thus n is multiplied to the q2. Refer from the drawing that there are a total of 3 exits, so n equals 3. Arranging the equation, you get a relationship between V2 and V1. With the formula and assuming everything else is given, if V1 is known, we can find P1. Similarly, if P1 is known, we can find V1. Let's look at an example. This Burj Khalifa is the tallest building on Earth. The sprinkler system of this building is delicately designed. The main water tank and water pump of this building is located on floor 72 of this building. Each floor contains pressure reducing valves. Sprinklers above this floor are operated with these valves, and the sprinklers below are operated with the combination of gravity in these valves. With this example, you can find both V1 and V2 with known pressure from the pressure reducing valves, height Z2, and all other known constraints. Thank you for watching. Now we will look at a raccoon playing with a sprinkler.